Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Ladies, and we are back with another franchise mode episode. But this time, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. But before we do that, I wanted to tell you guys that Emma is expecting offspring. So I'm super excited for that. But we're gonna look at that in the next episode because I'm gonna pause it. We have almost 70k dollars right now so we are able to do some pimping our habitats because well it doesn't look that well now does it so what we're going to do in this episode we're gonna do some pimping i'm gonna start with this habitat maybe a little bit of this section right over here and if i feel like i have some more time i will be doing more for this habitat so we're gonna do it differently i'm gonna pause the game and i will leave you guys with a speed build and afterwards i will show you guys around but we're not going to focus on gameplay in this episode we're only gonna focus on having a beautiful habitat for the bungos in this case and hopefully also the warthogs so yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy leave a like at the video if you do and subscribe of course if you already haven't i will see you guys after the speed build
So Emma is expecting some offspring and I didn't want to miss that out before I do the tour and I did want to show you guys the cute little babies but we will name them in the next episode. And she's going to have some cute little baby snow leopards and I'm super excited for this. It's going to happen right now guys. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> they are so adorable. Well, uh, uh, he, she. What are you? She, she is so adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I totally missed out on this cute little face during the whole beta. And I'm so happy to finally see you. Oh my goodness. That's so adorable. Okay, so we have a snow leopard baby cub in our zoo, guys. And as I said, we're going to name it in the next episode to one of you guys so yeah oh, i'm super excited to start looking at this one a little bit more what is that name by the way this is not right this is definitely not right okay so we definitely need to do some naming so let me now show you guys what we did and it's not completely finished yet because i feel this is way too straight so i'm actually thinking in a later stage to build something here with it overhanging just to make it pop out a little bit something like that and i actually didn't realize when i started building this i'm gonna pause the game for just a little bit when i started building this i didn't realize that i didn't have anything new unlocked so i was actually looking for some unpainted wooden stuff but that wasn't unlocked yet that's in the asian theme if i remember correctly so i had to do some other uh, creative stuff so i ended up with like all these small little pieces to make a custom roof but it looks really nice so i'm really happy but you should not do this too often because it will be a lot of pieces for the game to render but I really like these awnings. They're a little bit African, but I don't really mind. I don't think it's like, oh yeah, this is definitely African themed. I think it's all good. It's not too much. So then you go inside of here and I actually want to do a different flooring, but we also don't have that one unlocked yet. That's more of the new world theme. So I really want to use that for the flooring in a later stage. But I really like how this turned out. We have the educational sign right over here now. So I removed the two. I did recolor the bins and stuff because I think that fits better. And also the donation boxes. And also the same goes for this, this building right over here. Now I wanted to use the unpainted wood again. But that wasn't possible. But these guys really look nice. So the African hut base really look nice for a wooden roof so i just replaced the roof and this is more temporarily I, I do think it fits so maybe we just keep it like this and we did more some more gardening and stuff i think it looks really nice for a staff area i mean that's all it is and then we have a cute little bridge so i decided to get a water section right over here so we have like a water section that is also implemented in this warthog area but obviously we still have to do that section but it looks really nice i'm really happy with how this is turning out things might change in the future a little bit more and we have a new shelter area because i really wanted to have this darker wood because it doesn't really how you call that? I don't know. The The other wood was just too bright, so it would really be an eye catcher, which I don't really want. I want the nature and stuff and the animals to really pop up in this habitat. I do have to say, it's a pity that these bongos don't really like other trees. Like, they do like a few trees, but like only these ones are like a very nice size. So yeah, I just kept these guys, but it's a little bit like... How you call that repetitive or whatever but i think it works that's why i use these colored trees a little bit more with these flowers to give it a little bit more of a contrast with some color but it looks really nice so far i do have to say i really like this and i like the viewing gallery we might want to add a bit of some kind of logs or anything to break this flat wall bit but <laughs> the people won't really see it that much so it's all good, I guess. And we have some more enrichment for the bongos right over here. And 
I think, yeah, this is kind of the same shape we already had. So it's basically the same shape. We made it a little bit bigger. So we expanded it a little bit right over here and in the back. So we have these windows now on this side. We might want to add something to cover this up because it looks a little bit ugly right now. But those are like small little details we can do in a later stage. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this habitat turned out and it's really definitely a pimp of this habitat, at least for now. And yeah, just imagine having this in the same theme as this area. I think it's gonna look really great and then we're going to expand our zoo, obviously. I'm gonna have so much fun and hopefully we can do a lot more managing in the future but yeah i'm just really happy with how this turned out and as i said like i tried to find fountains or anything but we don't have that unlocked so i just ended up with this but we're definitely going to redo this whole section and make it look nice and pretty and yeah i think we're really on to something really fun for a franchise mode series guys so let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this new bongo habitat leave a like at the video if you enjoyed and i hope to see you guys in the next episode where we will continue our management part again thank you guys so much for watching hope to see you in the next one bye guys